Broncos Ardy away team going into this game. We'll talk a little bit about that later, but one Queensland team loses a home game, the rest of them get the away game. But you've got the head-to-head Manly lead 17 to 14. They come into the game in their last five with one draw, two wins, and two losses. Whereas the Broncos come into this game with three wins and two losses. Points, Broncos 234 to 171 scored. And obviously points conceded 175 to 164. So Baxter, looking at this, they concede in around similar amounts. Broncos can and have shown they can score points, even with that outlier of last week's points where they got smashed. Talk to me about this. What do you see in these stats? And have you got any of those fancy little stats of the week? Um, unfortunately, no, not for this game. Um, apparent, uh, I think it's more so to do with just total points. I think um, Manly can put on a low-scoring uh, affair in total points um, across Magic Round. So uh, <clears throat> given that Jake Tavorovic late uh, early mail was going to be ruled out for a month, um, I was leaning towards the Broncos here, but... I haven't seen their lineup, so we'll just rip into this as we get into it, and we'll go with the manly lineup. We've got Tom well, Tommy Tavoyevich, Jason Sub. I'll do it for you, mate. Brad Parker, Talita Kula, Reuven Garrick, Cooper Johns, Daly Cherry Evans, Tanila Paseka, Lachlan Croker, Sean Kepi, Ola Kowatu, Kelma Talagi, Josh Alloway, Kyle Lawton. One Turbo, one Burbo, whatever you want to call them. One Trebojevic is out. The other one's back. Benny's back on the bench. Ethan Bullimore, Aaron Woods, Samelo Fainu, K.O. Weeks, RTV, CT, and Ben Condon in the number 22 jersey. Baxter, mm. like you said, arguably, I guess you could say the Trebojevic brother that gives the biggest crack in Jake is not in this squad. He is injured. He will be out for a couple of weeks. They do have Tom Trebojevic. We'll see if he stays in the lineup. They do also have Ben back. So what do you make of this squad? What do you make of the extended bench? Do you see any movements happening? And then we'll move into the Broncos. No, I think the only movement you'll see is probably Tom, if if if, if and and all um, move out of this squad, uh, move out of this squad um, for Kia weeks. Um, uh, from all reports, Tom is going to play this weekend. Um, we're, we're, this is Wednesday night, so they're playing Friday Friday night. So really, it's only two sleeps away, um, or one sleep away, really, um, before you would actually know if he's going to run on, run out or not. So uh, as I said, my report is he's going to run out. Um, this side is, looks strong. But as we look into the Brisbane Broncos lineup, I think uh, has some more ammo to fire with. With Reese Walsh at the fullback role, Jesse Arthurs and Selwyn Coe in the wing position, Tony Staggs, Herbie Farnworth in the centres. Ezra Mann makes his return from his suspension and Adam Reynolds in the Haas pairing. Uh, Tom Fletcher, uh, Payne Haas also welcome back from his week suspension. Uh, in the front row with Billy Walters in the hook position, Kirk Capewell, Jordan, uh, Jordan Ricky in the second row position, Pat Carrigan in the lock. Corey Pax, Corey Jensen, Keanu Palasa, Martin Marty Tapao, Dean Mariner, Xavier Wilson, Jock Madden, Delioso Hoter, oh, that's a bad last name, and Kobe Heverington round out the 22-man squad. And as I said said just on the manly side, uh, I think Brisbane... Um, even without Ezra Man, without Payne Haas, I still uh, I still believe have more attack uh, going forward into this game and um, will put up a good performance, um, a good show to round out Friday Night Football at Magic Round. Yeah, I've got to agree with you. Um, obviously, we saw last week they didn't look themselves, but they also came up against a red-hot South Sydney Rabbitohs side. Latrell Mitchell was firing. Um, Campbell Graham's playing for that Origin jersey. So I don't think it's a true representation of how good this Broncos side can play with Ezra Mann and with Payne Hass out. But I do think that they're going to have way too much for this Manly side, especially with Jake out. Turbo, he should play. We'll see. But even with Turbo in, he still looks clunky. He still looks like he hasn't got back into his old movements. 
Yes, his hamstrings might hamstrings might not have gone just yet, but he doesn't look like himself. He looks like he's uncomfortable, unsure of himself, almost doesn't trust his own body. So that's something to definitely keep an eye on, not just this week, but leading into Origin if he is selected for Origin. I think if he is selected and he can't move properly, it's a massive boost for Queensland, but we all know how he can perform at that Origin stage. With Baxter, I'm going to jump in here. We're going to open up Magic Round with the first Brisbane team going absolutely bane. They're going 13 plus. They're taking out Manly and they're taking him to the cleaners. Yeah, look, um, I'm going to be more conservative here, and I'm going to go Brizzy 1 and 12. I think um, the point, uh, the total points, as I said, Manly can score is about 20 and a half. Um, no stats on uh, the Broncos here, but I just think um, Brizzy will go out there and obviously win this game, but I don't think they'll 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 reel it in. They won't go to uh, full gun blazing. So you're going 1 to 12, Broncos? Yes, I am. All right. Well, there we have it. Our first, first change of the week. I've gone 13 plus. He's gone 1 to 12. If Brisbane wins, someone is getting the bonus points.